Hello, in this video I will discuss leveling up titans. But the main focus of this video will be the titan XP arenas. To level up a titan, you will need to go to the hall of titans. There you will find an overview of all the titans currently in your inventory. Let's have a look at Fasa. His level is 9 at the moment and he can be leveled up to 15. To level up a titan you will need experience points. The amount of experience points you already have can be found in the first bar, that's the XP bar. As you can see Fasa is ready to train. If I now click on the OK button I will see how long it takes to train him to the next level and how much grain it will cost. Because I have already another titan in training I will not do this now. Another interesting bar is the shards bar. This one is already maxed up as well. But the function of the shards bar is of the shards is to unlock extra levels to train. When you acquire a titan for the first time you can train him only five times. Then he is locked for further training. To unlock that you will need shards. Fill out the shards bar and you can train your titan another five levels. So the important part in this video is where to find XP points, experience points for your titan. Let's go to the world map, where you can find the Titan XP arenas. Just a bit to the north you will find the Freelands, which you probably already know. To the left there is the Titan Shards arena, where you can find shards for your Titan. And to the right there is the Titan XP arena. There are seven different types of arenas ranging from small to large. The easiest one is the two, the double times Titan XP arena. It's small, it's rather easy, but it only gives you 200 XP points when you win this battle. It costs you two portal stones to enter that arena. So the only thing you really gain is time. And yet there is another perk. Another reason why you should fight the arena. There is a chance that you will win an elixir during the battle. And that elixir can be assigned to any titan that you have. It doesn't matter if it's a champion or a berserker or a paladin. Any titan will accept that elixir. And that elixir for this arena will already give you 500 experience points so in total you don't gain 200 but 700 experience points now that is more interesting next to the two times XP there is also the three times XP it's a little bit harder but the gain is more it also costs you three portal stones then there is another one, the next in line, five times. And that costs you only four portal stones, less. So the return on investment is higher. Then there is another one, eight times. Attacking it, entering it costs you five portal stones. Twelve times, sixteen. And ultimately, the most difficult one, 20 times Titan XP. Now you would think that this is the best one to fight, and that's not correct. The best one to use is this one, 16 times Titan XP. You will not fight these arenas with your weakest Titan. You won't survive. You will use your strongest Titan and you will win, not because of the experience points your Titan gains, but because of the elixir you can win. The elixir for the 16 times Titan XP is the same elixir as the elixir you will win in the 20 times Titan XP arena. So all the more reason to choose the easier one. So 
So, entering this arena costs you 6 portal stones. Quite expensive, but very well worth it. Elixirs are relics, so they will be stored in your relic inventory. You can have multiple. So it's best to, to stock up on them to train your strong titans quickly. Let's enter this arena. I will use my strongest titan, Yulegrieve. There are two types of battlefields possible for each arena. This one is a nice one to fight. It's not too hard. If your level is high enough, of course, that's always the case. It may not seem hard in this video. But it can be harder if your titan is lower level. And your units are lower level. And fight. Stand ground. I'll order Yulegrieve to stand ground too. Now keep your eye on the top right hand corner of the screen because that is where your relic will appear if you find it. Still haven't won it. There is a chance. It doesn't mean that you will get it. And every unit you defeat will give you a chance of winning that relic. Still no success, still no relic in the top right hand corner. You will see a little shield appear there. There it is. I got it. Nice. Now I only have to finish it and win. I don't really care much about losing units. I have some farms in my lands, in my lands, so I can replace them quite easily. There you go, the moss main are gone. The next one to arrive is the Titan. He isn't strong, so he will die pretty quick. If of course, my Una can keep their distance. And he's dead. This was a terrible fight, by the way. I could have done that a lot better. But okay, I won. And there is the XP elixir. Now let's have a look at its strength. 1250 XP points that you can just assign to any Titan you want. This is a very useful and very powerful relic. Still only lost two units. Not too much. Let's go back to the Titan Arena and I will show you how quickly that can be done. No, I'm not going to speed up speed finish this upgrade. It's too expensive. 3000 gems. I'm not going to do that and I don't have any other one, any other. Anyway, let's go back and let's have a look at the relics I have. And here you can see that you can stock up on many of those experience bottles, these elixirs. There's a smaller one and an even specific guardian XP potion that I got from another relic, the daily relic I think that it was. But anyway, this is what counts. As soon as I upgrade Yule Grief, I can immediately level him up by assigning these XP potions to him. There's no need to wait, you can do it really quickly. You don't have to fight, well, 30, 50, 100 battles to upgrade your Titan.
just assign these elixirs and you're done. Very useful. So I would recommend fighting as soon as you can the 16 time Titans Titan Experience Arena. The best one to fight. Thank you for watching. I hope it was useful. See you next time. Goodbye.